What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Gamer Dude here. Welcome you back to another episode of Dangin' Robo V3, killing Harmon, me. And in the last episode, we got lost. Good job, us. We're good at that. You guys got to get, like, a lot of minutes cut out of this last episode. And that doesn't usually happen unless it's a trial episode. So that's how much I got lost. So, um, I stared this thing in the face and went, oh, the plant room. It doesn't work. Nothing ha th This is here. It literally says Mysterious Monument. I literally remember looking at that. So we're going to talk to Kivo instead of talking to this because I am upset with myself and Kivo needs to be there to uh, feel my emotions of upsetness. Um, the item we received earlier, I think we can use it on the Stone Monument. Can you try? Oh my god, I should have freaking talked to Kivo the entire time. Kivo would have... Kivo would have actually... <laughs> oh my god. Kibo would have literally done it. Oh, it's a pool. I mean, I guess it makes sense because the, the aquarium, the dolphin there. The vines suddenly withered. Mm -hmm. The ivy withered in seconds. What remarkable technology. Ah, can we can get in. Uh, can we go in there? Or can we go in from there, right? Um, You're intended to go inside. That course of action seems dangerous. I mean, Rise yes. Oh, God. Shine. Oh, God. Oh, no. No, it's not dangerous. There's just a pool in there. Pool? Okay. Yeah, this is a pool. Schools and pools are inseparable. That's right. 24-hour convenience stores and blood hooligans are also inseparable. Honestly, that's actually true. But whatever. Like, that's wonderful. wonderful explanation. Okay. Thank you. Are you stupid. Huh? I don't know why you're being praised by the guy who killed our bro. It makes you happy. I mean, so he's modern though. But I get what they're saying. Um, we should... What should we do? There's maybe a pool, but we're not going for a swim, are we? But, but if it's not dangerous, then maybe we should take a look. It's never a bad idea for too much information. Right. I suppose you're right. Yeah, I mean, Kibo's... I, I, here's the thing. Kibo is an intellectual character. So he knows exactly... Like, information and having all of that information is a good thing. I agree with Kibo on that. This doesn't look like a normal school pool. More like a school bar pool at a resort. There isn't much water in it. Aren't pools usually filled up more, though? Wow! Whoa! I've always dreamed of swimming in a fancy pool at a big shot, like a big shot celebrity, but too bad I don't know how to swim. What? Girl, how do you not know how to swim, Tanko? We're gonna teach you. I suppose that dream is uh, pretty far away. <laughs> Damn. It's not necessarily a dream of mine, but swimming with everyone does sound fun. If I tried to swim, I would just sink. And that one is even further. <laughs> oh, Suichi. Oh, you're good. You're good, Shuichi. Um, ooh, a diving board. A this is a large diving board. This is also something you would find at a resort. The pool itself. We'll investigate that, too. This doesn't look like a normal school pool. It's more like a pool at a resort. This isn't much water in it. No. Storage room door. Uh, um, this looks like a storage room. Hmm. I peeked inside and discovered all manner of pool supplies in there. It is fully stocked with kickboards, water polo balls, and even a sturdy rubber inner tube. Perhaps it can. I can float in water if I inflate them and attach them all over my body. Uh, I think... That you would look like a, the company's mascot. Or the or, uh, you would look like the tire company's mascot got. Michelin tires! Let's go! A reference to that. Oh, there's pool rules. Rule sign. He would be the Michelin man. Some pool rules are posted here. There's one that I find peculiar. So swimming is prohibited at nighttime? That is weird. Oh! More Monocub stuff. Okay. I can't see you guys in the picture. That's sad. That's right. No one is allowed to swim during Actually, nighttime. It'd be terrible if someone died due to an unfortunate nighttime swimming accident. We need use to die in the killing game. So. You can visit the pool at nighttime, but even touching the water is against the rules. Oh, I guess I'll add it to ex the existing regulations in case. School regulations has been updated. Anyway, uh, why is the pool water level so low? It's barely enough to swim. What, what the hell are you saying? You got gap and ho gaping holes instead of eyes or something? That's water to swim it only looks shadow because the pool is so deep um, 
and if someone would more than likely drown if they filled it up all the way. And that's that. They put a lot of thought into some sort of strange things. Wonderful, Wonderful explanations, everyone. What? Really? Oh, I'm so happy to hear you say that. Stupid. Did you forget he killed Monokid? You should hate his guts right now. Screw Monokid! I always hated him! Okay. Facts. We're, we're here for that. Monophane, we're here. He was violent, vulgar, rude, and shock, or violent, vulgar, rude to shop clerks, and had a soft spot for abandoned kitties. Hey. Why that sound like praise near the end? I mean, abandoned kitties need help too. Anyway, no swimming at nighttime. That's okay. I wasn't planning on swimming. <laughs> Understandable. There's a lot of specifications written here. The pool is 82 feet in length, 39 feet wide. The pool side is 13 feet on each end, and left and right sides are 8 feet each. That's a lot of... That we might need to remember for later. We might need to remember that a lot for later. Listen up. If there's a fancy pool here, then there must be swimsuits here too. Huh? huh? Are you positive? Yes. Of course. There would be no point in having a pool otherwise. Wow. Well, I suppose that's true, but... So where are the swimsuits? I only saw extra school uniforms in the back of the dorm. That's true. All the closets seem to contain spare uniforms. Hmm. If there were any swimsuits, I suppose they would be in the warehouse. How scandalous! They, and they're in a place that degenerate males could easily access. Um, um, I, I don't really think that's a problem. <laughs> oh, I get it. You're the worst degenerate the worst. are only care about you swimsuits or ones that the girls are wearing, don't they? If that's the case, then the swimsuits in the warehouse are definitely safe. Okay. Tango, tango, tango. I wonder if the day will ever come where I can swim with everyone. Kibo, was, I was wondering, if you fell off with a boat and sank to the bottom, would you be stuck living under the sea beneath a rock or in a pineapple? Boo! Where would, where, where would he? What would he want? Kibo, you gotta answer this. This is important. What? No. No. I believe that you would get too deep. Your body would be crushed by the pressure. Please stop! Please don't say such scary things, both of you. It'll never set foot on the boat. I will never do that. Okay. But like SpongeBob though, you'd be able to be under the rock, in the freaking thing. There's something still bothering me. Oh, is it this? The entrance. I wish I had a much more detailed answers to my more important questions. Oh, it wouldn't let me go there. Okay, more detailed answers to the more important questions. Where did the this right? Pool, pool, pool entrance, diving board. Oh, this. The gym window. The window must have be the gym's window. It looks like the one that's in the gym. I suppose that means that the pool and area, or gym and pool areas are connected. It's pretty standard to have a school, uh, for a school to have the gym and pool area nearby each other. But I think the pool can be moved to such a, or can be moved to a larger area. There is plenty of land in the courtyard. What about you there? Uh, um, I, I don't know. That's the information he wanted to know, I'm sure. There's still something here that's bothering me. What? What could that be? We already checked this. Kiba's going to tell us what's in there. We already checked the pool rules. Is there another? Is it the monitor that we're worried about? It's a monitor for communicating with us. It's so clunky. I wonder if it's just what. I wonder if it's just what Monica likes. Something's still bothering me. What? What's bothering you? Oh, this window. The school building window. This window. It must be one of the school buildings. I remember all of the windows being sealed off, but this window in particular looks like a normal window. What room does it belong to? Girl, anyone could peep through that window. Huh? Peep. What? Who would do that? Um. I heard degenerate males who get turned on by girls in swimming suits than by girls who are, or get more turned on by girls in swimming suits than girls in, who are naked. Honestly, I hate that I could believe that. I honestly hate that I could believe that. And they go bonkers over the bloomers we wear over our panties that that we wear over our privates. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Again, I could see that. Male. What are the are girls supposed to do against the filthy desires of the degenerate males? 
Uh, I think he may be overacting a little. Oh, Kibo, are you a degenerate male or a girl? Which is it? Good question. I've honestly never thought about that before. Really? How interesting. I suppose I would just assume he was a he, but Kibo's a robot, so... Fair point. Suppose the pool area... That's all for the pool area. I still have other places to investigate. What? I feel like we've investigated all four places, so I think we're fine. Yoo-hoo! Found you, Suichi! Suichi, Suichi. Oh. I didn't know you were here. I've been looking everywhere for you. Ah, Angie, did you find anything out about that flashlight? Uh. Yep, I finally figured it out. It seems like Atua wants us to gather in the gym for an explanation. Bye, you don't have to... You don't have time to relax now. Bye, Anara. Bye, Anara. If Atua is going to explain to us, then I'm guessing she didn't figure it out. In any case, I should go to the gym. We'll get there. Oh, we're just going to fast travel? I am okay with it. Oh, we didn't. I I, <laughs> I kind of was like, I mean, if you want to fast travel me to the gym, I, I will take the less experience. I mean, I know I could do it myself, but I feel like it almost takes about the same amount of time for me to do this as it would be to just fast travel sometimes. Because it's like, bloop, I'm going to be there in like 2.5 seconds anyway. So I'd rather get the experience for the walking because level 21, and I don't have a pet to manage either. So honestly, not having this dang pet helps so much. I feel bad, but the pet is annoying. And so we don't have to worry about it and it's good. The gym. Hey everyone. Angie led us here, which everyone. is scary. Gather around. We're all here. Good. Now let's bow our heads and pray to Atua. Yeah. You're the real pain in the ass. You know that. You're just gonna tell us what you fucking want. See? Alrighty then. Check this out. What's the matter? That's a peculiar looking flashlight. So what of it? Uh... Um, I don't know, but what it is either. But I inspected it pretty good. Yeah. yeah but in the end, I just couldn't figure it out. You couldn't. How divine. I asked someone. So I asked someone for Could help. Be... You don't mean. Oh God. Oh God. Angie, why? Why? Angie, why? Why? Angie, what the hell? Why'd you ask Wanakuma? Bruh. If something you had worried, uh, you, has you worried, let Wanakuma take care of it. If you don't know something, I'll tell you. If you need help, I'll help you. If you don't like something, I'll fix it. So don't get rid of it. Please do not get rid of me. Uh, very bad when lady who act like that preys on you. What? Huh? Do you know from personal experience? Tell us, Monokuma. What is this flashlight? Yeah. Why? That's a flashback light. Oh. Uh, a flashback light. Huh? Flashback. My, my. Light. Hey, um... That flashback light doesn't shed light on darkness. It sheds light on your lost memories. Yeah. Lost memories. Yeah. You guys seem to be concerned that you couldn't remember how you came to this school. But if you use that flashback light, you can remember everything. Huh? What? With with this light? So it's your fault we don't remember when, when we were kidnapped here, huh? What did you do to us? And how did you steal our memories away? Uh, maybe if you use the flashback light, you'll be able to remember that too. I don't believe it. There's no way this flashlight will recover our memories. I bet there were a lot of naysayers and skeptics when the telephone was invented, too. Hey, um, For your information, the flashback light can be treated various symptoms of memory loss. The light that emits stipulates a basal, genalia, and hippocampus. Not that, just that, but physical. Whew, I didn't realize how boring it would be to explain. Basically, blah, blah, blah. Basically, it recovers your memories. Blah, blah, blah. We got that. I just totally skipped over his line, and I feel bad. Can I? Oh, wait, I can see it, can't I? Basically, it works like that. Oh, well, <laughs> that basically Monokuma himself said blah, 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 blah. Hey, don't give up on explaining after a single sentence. What should we do? What should we do? Um... What should we do? You mean we should, should we or should we not use that flashlight? No. No way. I refuse. It risks, or it reeks of fishiness. Mm. Yeah, Ganta, no, can believe flashlight can bring back memory. Well, well. Why not ask someone who knows machines? We've got an ultimate inventor here, right? Uh, You're a bunch of fucking dumbasses! No fucking way you can, that thing can treat amnesia. 
Then again, these aren't exactly normal circumstances. In such an uncanny environment as this, common sense has no place. Well, I mean, there are those neuralizer things and the flashy things from Men in Black. I mean, wow. yeah, that exists. Why are you talking about a movie? This is real life. I guess. You're right. Sorry. I don't like that. I don't think we should do it. I'm just scared it might have some weird side effect. Mm -hmm. uh, eh, I'm worried how it will affect my magic. All of you. Has, ev has everyone spoken? If we are in accord, I will consent as well. Yeah. What about you, Shuichi? Have you not said anything yet? Uh -huh. What? Uh, uh, I... All right. All right. Then it's decided. Let's yeah. use it. Huh? How we how did we decide that? We're all saying how dangerous it sounds. Jeez. Jeez, you guys are way too cautious. I mean, I understand why we're in such a weird situation after all. But, you know. but we can't win by just running away all the time. Honestly, um, yeah, I'm introverted as heck and would totally do the same thing where I would be like, whatever, it's fine. But like, then I need my, you know, Kaido, my chariot, um, to freaking move me along here. What? Listen up. If you want to win, then you've got to be a little bit reckless sometimes. Th yeah, but I have an uh, inability to do such, Kaido. You see, this is what I need you for. <laughs> if we can't face the danger, there's no way we'll be able to beat Monokuma. <laughs> well, aren't you confident? But you have no idea how we're supposed to win, do ya? See, Kyo is my voice of reason. Like, honestly. Kyo is my voice of reason, and then Kaido's my... That's funny that they start with, like, they both start with... Uh, the K. Um, Kaido's my chariot and uh, my voice of reason right here. Yeah, I still got no clue, but still. If you want to win, we got to make a stand somewhere or we'll never move forward. If you run away, our kids will grow up to be like the kind of people who run away from things like this. Huh? What are you even talking no. about? If you want to run away, then go ahead. I won't stop you or blame okay. you. Okay, fine. Then let's go. Mm -hmm. Huh? What's wrong, everyone? Aren't we going? Um, I'm staying. Yeah, that's right. After hearing that degenerate speech running away would be just frustrate me. Mm. Gonta also stay is what two gentlemen will probably do. 100%. I also agree with Kaido. Our defeat is 100% assured unless we stand up to this. That's how I feel, deep inside. Just a whisper. <laughs> you hear it in you, your ghost? I'm pretty sure robots don't have ghosts, though. That is not Leave me alone. <laughs> I shall stay as well. I suspect I will be able to observe something most interesting. On your if anything happens to me, then y'all better bang, or bang my fans, the world, and humanity for forgiveness. Right. So, what are we going to do, Shuichi? Uh, Shuichi, okay. I'll stay behind too. All right. Right? I'll stay too. So, what if it might cause some weird side effects? No big deal. It seems, as if... it seems everyone agrees with Kaido. Very well. I shall follow suit. Mm, now, it's decided. Hurry up and do it. Then I'm going to yeah. turn it on. Yes, please. Click. At that moment, Angie flickered the light. The world warped. Whoa. What? A lightning bolt in my mind shattered my consciousness. Like a, sh uh, a shrapnel. Like a video and fast forward scenes played out in the back of my head. When the pieces of my psyche had gathered together again. I remember. I remember now. I was running away. I had been this entire time. From the ultimate hunt. Those of us with ultimate talents were hunted down. I wasn't safe anymore. Eventually, I had no else or no place else to run. I was cornered to escape the ultimate from the ultimate hunt. I threw away my ultimate talent to live as a normal high school student. By erasing my talent and my memories, I no longer had a reason to be hunted. If I didn't do what I did, I would have been captured, a fate worse than death. So, I chose. I chose to gamble on new technology developed in a particular facility. Technology that could put your memories to sleep by controlling what your brain waves. I used that to hibernate all of the memories of my relating or relating to my talent. 
That's it. Yes, I remember everything now. In order to escape the ultimate hunt, I erased my own memory. Wait, did you say ultimate hunt? Huh? Really? You guys too? So it wasn't just me getting chased down by the ultimate hunt. I do not agree. Yes, you were not the only one. I know. We were all being chased as well. We looked around at each other, each of us with the same shocked expression. What Kurumi said was true. We were all the same. We were all running from that ultimate hunt. In other words, all of us here were being chased by the ultimate hunt. What on earth does that mean? Um... Oh, wait. Can someone tell me what that is? I, I can't seem to remember. What is the ultimate hunt? Jeez. Jeez, how could you forget something that important? All right, guys. The ultimate hunt is... What? Huh? Wait. What? What was it? Why can't I remember? Uh, um... I, I can't either. I suddenly realized. I cannot remember any important details of the ultimate but hunt. How? It's no use. I can't remember either. I can only be remember being chased. I can't remember anything else at all. Yeah, no matter how hard I try, I can't seem to remember. I don't want to live. I want to die with everyone else. What was that? I want to die with everyone else? I re remember saying that, but why did I say that? Uh, um, it's no use. I, I can't remember either. Damn it! Ah, this feels gross. Like sh that a shit that won't fully squeeze Never. out. Hmm. If we can't remember, then we should still be able to figure something huh? out. Huh? What you mean? <laughs> if we're running, all running from the ultimate hunt, then why are we imprisoned why? here? Could it be? Could it be the reason, or could the reason be that we were caught by the ultimate hunt? Caught by the ultimate um, hunt. You mean we tried to escape by erasing our memories, but they found us anyway? And subsequently we were captured as part of the ultimate hunt? No. Then this killing game yeah. is... Yeah, it might be the work of the ultimate Let's hunt. Uh, if that's so, then I'm all the more concerned about this ultimate but, hunt. But... Uh, but how disappointing that no one can remember anything. <laughs> <laughs> what a disappointing disappointment. Quit laughing about this, you little it shit. Uh, it seems losing him made a far bigger impact than we expected. Huh? Him? Yes. Rantaro. He seemed to know more than he let on. Hey, I have a question. <clears throat> or Oh god, it's Rantaro's voice. Hey, I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but... Does the term ultimate hunt ring a bell for anyone? <gasps> oh! I do sort of remember him saying something like that. Mm. Hmm, our mild-mannered mystery man said that, huh? But, but then, why did only Rentaro remember the ultimate hunt? Listen, there's no point in discussing that now. After all, he is already dead. <laughs> but if you truly wish to hear his words, I can perform a séance for you. Hmm. Stop it! Don't bring up weird stuff like that. And why are you acting all girly all of a sudden? Yeah, death can be real heartless, says the root of all evil. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you guys safely got your memories back. What the hell's going on, you stupid ass bear? The ultimate hunt makes no goddamn sense. Oh, looks like your sealed memories are more stubborn than I thought. Just one use of the flashback light wasn't enough to restore all your memories. You got me. You're such a terrible liar. You totally did that on purpose. Mm. Call him out, honestly, Cookie G. Go for it. What connection do you have with the ultimate hunt? <laughs> I can't reveal that! Regardless, if my true identity and my goal is crystal clear, and that's to make you guys participate in this killing game, that's my only desire. Oh, it is. I know, Monokuma. I'm fully aware. This killing game, that's what it always comes back to. You gotta be kidding me! What? Killing game? I will never do that ever again! Right. We just gotta work together. If we cooperate, we'll make our make it out of here alive <laughs> just like a certain someone said Kayane. but i believe cooperating with each other is the most logical course of action snore i'm what? snoring uh why are you sleeping what? huh what what Jeez. hey kokichi we're having a serious conversation here you know hmm. and it is written somewhere that i have to take serious conversations seriously <laughs> Psh, quit acting so immature mm -hmm. Oh, I'm a teenager, so dime immature. Aren't you guys forgetting to act your age? I mean, honestly, he has a point. <laughs> I hate it, but he has a point. What is it? But I don't have a biological age. Ah. 
Uh, oh, don't worry about it, Kibo. I'm just talking about the humans right now. Ugh. So? We were talking about it again. Something about working together to escape, right? Oh, so you were listening. You horrible degenerate. See? Uh, we don't have to work together, though. Let's just ask how we can get out. What's the point? If we ask Wanakuma, he'll only... The only way is to win. Or, he'll say the only way to win is the killing game. Really oh, we're not gonna ask Wanakuma. We're gonna ask the mastermind that's among us. What? Why you? Are you already going senile? I thought we agreed that there is no mastermind. Hmm. Oh, yeah, um... We did, didn't we? If we tried to sniff out the mastermind again, we'd just repeat Kaede screw up. You better quit messing around. Huh? Uh -huh. Oh, you think I'm messing around right now? How oh, funny. Man. Oh man, you really don't get it. I'm just trying to get this through to everyone. If we keep saying all this uplifting stuff about working together and cooperating, <laughs> then you can expect to receive some painful retaliation. Get it? Wait. What are you suggesting, Kokichi? That's enough! All right, that's enough. I'm gonna slug him. Ah, uh, he's gonna punch me. And I gotta make a break for it. Bye. Kokichi said his piece and then dashed as fast as he could out of the room. <laughs> Psh, damn, he's fast. Jeez. Jeez, what a strange guy. Jeez. He just provokes people and never says anything from the heart. He's always messing around and making fun of those around him. Huh. Hmm. How can he say such insensitive things when he's trying so hard to survive? It's like he doesn't even want to survive, though. I guess I'm no different. Huh? What? In other words. Yeah, I don't have a plan to survive till the end. All right, Ryoma. Um. You not plan to survive? Then what that means? Uh, he has mentioned that before. That he has no reason to live. Mm -hmm. Uh, he doesn't have a reason to live. Poor Ryoma. It seems like he's got more tragic pasts than we could have even begun to imagine. I mean, yeah, but for the ultimate tennis pro, shouldn't be saying such coward or shouldn't be saying such cowardly stuff. What do you think? Perhaps we should relax over a meal. Everyone, could you please tell me your favorite foods and beverages? Huh? huh? You gonna whip something up, Karimi? Are you like the perfect mom? After we finished the meal that Kurumi prepared for us, we decided to return to our rooms. And we're going to have free time probably, hopefully, maybe, possibly. <coughs> oh no, we wouldn't because it's going to be bedtime. Like, it's going to be nighttime. Wait a minute. It, yeah, there, it can't be free time. Unless it is. There are hidden Monokumas around the Ultimate Academy. Maybe you've already seen one. You can collect hidden uh, Monokumas by investigating them. Your collection will be displayed on the shelf of this room. It's literally telling me, hey, by the way, I know you didn't get one last uh, last one, so let me tell you they exist. They're a fun way to look when you want to take a little break from something, everything. Yeah. Anyway, what is this ultimate hunt? It's still bothering me. And why did Rantaro know? I suppose I won't get anywhere thinking about it by myself. All right. Time for action. There's still time left for the day. I think I need a plan. Oh my god, we are getting free time. Oh, We're getting free time! I didn't expect to get that, actually. I'm totally chill for it, though. What did I just do? Anyway, what the other thing we need to do is... Yes, I do want to leave the door, but we gotta get the presents. We gotta get presents. We have mono coins. We gotta get presents. Um, I'm gonna kind of speed through this and, like, the getting presents portion because, honestly, you guys probably, you guys have seen this from a lot of the other games. Uh, but unless I have, like, a true reaction to them, then maybe. Also, I know who we're hanging out with today. That's already confirmed. What? Me hanging out with Kaido? No. Could never. What? Or Karumi. Kaido or Karumi. They're my two right now. Because now I can't hang out with Shuichi because, well, we kind of are Shuichi. So, can't do that. That one kind of got thrown out the window. Tenko's an option, too. There's a lot of options. Kyo is an option. There, I'm, like, naming off even more and more and more and more options. So, yeah, I don't know. So, I got to think about that when I open up this Mono Mono machine. So, hey, Shuichi. Have you seen Kokichi anywhere? I saw him a while ago, but I tried to tell him something and he got away again. Should I hang out with Kaido for a while? Yes. Hey. You bored? Then come and help me find Kokichi. Okay. Kaido and I spent time looking for Kokichi. 
Kaido and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Kaido a present? Yes. Kaido, we have astronaut cake for you. A freeze-dried slice of cake, solid as a public, or solid, or sold to the public as space food. Both a healthy and or vegetarian friendly. Okay, I mean. Oh, that's pretty interesting. It's almost like the perfect gift for a luminary of the stars. <laughs> You're on the right path. Leave it to me. You got something to tell me? Don't hold back. I'll listen. You're pretty enthusiastic mm -hmm. about this. Ah, well, you're about, you're an astronaut trainee, right, Kaido? Sure am. Still a trainee, but I've got to be accepted for sure. I'm going to be accepted for sure. Training as an astronaut must be hard. Can you handle it? <laughs> no problem. My training is a piece of cake. Kaido is grinning at me, then his expression turned serious. You know. Well, to be honest, it's about as intense as it can get. Or intense as intense can get. The universe is harsh. you got to be able to handle any situation. Any situation. I mean... The first two years is basic training. It's pretty straightforward, and you learn the skills to be an astronaut. Medicine, aeronautical engineering, scuba diving, linguistics, survival training. You pretty much got to master everything. Mm. Survival training. Got it. You have to do that, too. Yeah, for unexpected emergencies, where i got to make unexpected return from space. Oh, that's right. I suppose you do risk your life being an astronaut. Oh. That reminds me. I remember watching something on the news. There's a training facility for astronauts on the bottom of the ocean, right? Yeah. Right. It's pretty famous. I. It's a little different from basic training, though. Listen up. All right. Pop quiz. What is the most important thing an astronaut needs? Uh, um... um. Perseverance. Hmm. Perseverance. Sure, that's necessary, but there's something that's more important than that. The seafloor facility exists to help people train this specific thing. And that thing is Listen up. communication. We didn't even have the option for that. Okay. That's the most important thing for an astronaut is teamwork. The universe is a frontier that we people of the world challenge together. And since we need that work together, communication is vital. That does sound quite important. Huh. Right. They check in on the recruitment exam. And that's why they need a language training. It helps up or it makes up a fourth of basic training. And of course, I can speak Japanese, English, and Russian all fluently. I didn't learn the languages. I had to learn each culture. I didn't just learn the languages, though. I had to learn each culture, too. Ooh, a diverse man. The culture, too. I never thought I'd hear that from Kaido. Wait, now that I think about it, he can speak multiple languages and is well-learned and has what it takes to be an astronaut. I've been underestimating him. Kaido was incredible. Damn, Damn it. I want to get back to training. The universe is getting oh, away from me. The world needs the luminary, luminary, luminary of the stars to shine even brighter. I don't have the heart to tell him, but that I'm not so sure about that. Hope fragment for Kaido. Kaido and I went separate ways as I returned to my room. Do we have something for Kurumi? I don't know if we have something for Kurumi. All right. There's still more time left. More free time. Cool. That don't... No, they don't mix well. Ketchup. An exclusive writing instrument for a maid to use to write messages on omelets. Considered to be a normal condiment by some people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good, good. Karumi, where are you? Ah, there's where she is. Okay. Hi, Karumi. That is correct. You know, Shuichi. The best detectives in the world were alive during the Victorian era. Have you read many novels about detectives of that era? Should I hang with Karumi? Yes. May I? If you don't mind, would you tell me which detectives from that era you admire most? Karumi and I spent some time discussing detective novels. Karumi and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give her a present? Absolutely. Have some ketchup for your omelets that you were making. <laughs> Seems like I do not have any gifts for you, or, or, any, or, oh, it seems I do not have to give you any advice on how to select the right gift. You made me incredibly happy today. How can I help Shuichi, you? Shuichi, how can I help huh? you? Help me. I will grant your Give wishes. me any command and I will do anything for you. Oh, I don't have anything at the moment to ask you. How? Why did you talk to me then? That's... Well, I was thinking that we could spend some time together. Is that all right? You do not agree. No, not at all. If that's what you wish for then I will wait by your side forever. So please do not hesitate to request uh, anything. Um, 
Uh, it's not that I want you to wait on me. It's I just wanted to be with you for a while. That is a rather vague request. What do you wish for me to do? No. I already told you. I do not wish for anything. How? Why did you call for me then? then? All right. How about this? Let's talk about something. Understood. How would you like me to serve you by keeping you company, huh? sir? Do you agree? Is that not what you wished for? No, this isn't quite it. What should I say? Karimi is a maid, so perhaps that's why she's so insistent about this. But at this rate, I'm gonna suffocate Karumi. Is or I'm gonna suffocate. Karumi is being too hey. serious. Karumi, didn't you chat with your classmates during lunch breaks and or after yeah. school? I had somewhat. Why do you ask? Remember. Well, because I want to spend time with you that way. Um. For example, perhaps we could drink some tea in the dining that hall. That is fine. Yeah, that is fine. Then let us go to the dining hall. Good. She seemed to understand. Wow, you were more forward than normal, but we're here for it. What do you think? Shuichi, what do you, would you like to drink? Tea or coffee? That's true. Uh, tea, I suppose. Understood. Understood. I will go and prepare it. Please wait. Oh. Wait, Kurumi. Oh, too late. She's already in the kitchen. I didn't mean for her to make or prepare tea all by herself. My apologies. My apologies for making you wait. It is done. Karumi returned pushing the cart, uh, or pushing a cart on Ugh. the cart was. Whoa, yeah. all of this? It is your afternoon tea. Well, I can see that, but it's never been something so extravagant. There were delectable sandwiches, cakes, and scones all lined up on the cart. The tea smelled so wonderful and all put all the other teas I've ever had to shame. She prepared all of this in minutes? Is that the power of the ultimate please, maid? Go ahead. Shuichi, please sit here. Thank you. I sat down, but noticed Kurumi standing still, with perfect posture as hmm. always. Kurumi, aren't you going to sit? Mm -hmm. But if I sit, then I cannot serve no. you. I don't want you to serve me. Come sit with me. Please, go ahead. As I prepared this just for you, so oh, please but, enjoy. But, mm -hmm. Shuichi, I, you commanded me to prepare you tea. I will do and I best. intend to complete any requests given, so please enjoy mm. this tea. Oh, okay. Kurumi. <laughs> oh, God. Girl, it's not how that's working. Kurumi waited for me, hand waited on me hand and foot as I returned to my room. The tea and sandwiches and scones and cakes, they were all excellent. Well, I'm glad they were good, but that's not what I expected. Well, it should have been what I expected. But it's not what I was looking for. I was looking for, like, genuine talking. Which is exactly what Shuichi was looking for, too. Oh. Monadam! Hi, buddy. Yeah, you're so right, Monadam. Uh, oh. Official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 10 p.m. Everyone is now on work duty. Bye, Monadam! I'm so glad he's taken over. Nighttime already. Today really flew by, too. As I lay in my bed, Ryoma's words came back to me. Reason to live? When I really think about it, what do I have? I want to see my family and my friends again, but is that a reason to live? I wonder how it was for Kaede. I'm sure she had plenty of reasons to live. That's the kind of girl she was, but I... Why am I thinking about this? I shouldn't be thinking this stuff. I know I need to stop thinking that way, but when I'm alone, I can't help it. Damn it! With all my willpower, I force myself to sleep. Uh-oh. Um, is he sleeping? Uh -huh. Yeah, he is sleeping. He's out like a light. Oh, you mean out like a light. What? Did did, did, did I correct Monofany? He's, oh, he's out like a light. You mean out like a light. What? Oh. Oh, my God. She said out like a like. And I just auto-corrected the saying. <laughs> More Who cares? Just hurry up and leave the present so we can get out of here. Don't rush me. Jeez, it's dark in here. I can't tell which is which. Oh, no. What are they doing? I hate that I see this image and the first thing that pops into my head is Dead by Daylight. <laughs> I know it's not. I know it's not what it is, but I see the crows and I'm like, oh, that's Dead by Daylight. College entrance exams are big milestones on par with finding a job or getting married. Are your examinees out there working hard when 
studying to focus on the focus is most important. Boost your focus by throwing away all those comic books and video games. Oh, but Spike Chungsoft video games are just fine. They're specially made to improve your focus and burn those pictures of your girlfriend. You don't have time to indulge in those good memories, but make sure you don't burn your actual girlfriend. You'll, you'll go to prison for that. Facts. Prison might help you focus though, but then you wouldn't be able to take your exams. If you can't focus at all, then it's good to confine yourself somewhere and study. I recommend confining yourself in your enemy's base. The thrill of studying in a place where you might get caught does wonders for your focus. Oh, I also recommend studying in a disaster zone. The thrill of studying in a place where you can just actually die does wonders for your focus. Oh, I also recommend studying in the middle of your exams. The thrill of knowing it's too late to get any studying done does wonders for your focus. And with all of my advice, you'll beat out the competition. So be it out there and do your best. Yes, Monokuma. Yes. Uh, we're going to, like, do nothing and got to, like, get stuff taken away from the teacher. It's going to be great. And we're going to die and it's lovely. Also, <laughs> <coughs> Rise and shine or shine. This is an official announcement. The Ultimate Academy from the it is now 8 a.m. Have a wonderful killing school semester today. Wonderful announcement, Monodon. I cannot believe this is your first time. Uh, this isn't really your fault or our first time, is it? Hey. Is this really your first time? You're blushing! How cute! How, anyway, we've dropped off some presents to your rooms. Cover in fear, because the hell starts here. Oh, God. A present? What does that mean? We will find out what the present means in the next episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony, where I am definitely nervous. I want to know what this present is really badly, but, you know, we're going to find out next episode, because, yeah, that's what happens. Um, but yeah, it, it do be like that sometimes. Catch you later.